Do you. Yeah, right. Do you. Don't worry about what they're doing over there. Do you. Because, you know, I just look and I think about the person that created that space. Right. When they created that space, and we're talking about the creator now, but I'm using a gardener. When they created that space, they had a vision. And their vision was not for all the trees to be the same. Right. <laughs> their vision was for the trees to be different. Right. And for each of them to add something that the other one couldn't. And so when I think about our creator, that's the vision for us to be different. Right. For us to if everybody add would be the same, something. That would be boring. <laughs> yeah, that would be. <laughs> <laughs> that would yeah. be boring. Yeah, it would be. It would be. But sometimes we act like we're all supposed to be the same. Right. Like we're supposed to have the same house, the same car, the same shape, the same goals, the same, you know, we act like that, but that's not realistic. And and sometimes we don't appreciate ourselves. Right. This is what I came into the earth with. Right. Smaller, but this is what I came into the earth with. This is what I'm going to be in until I leave. Right. And I have to appreciate me, and I have to appreciate my journey, and and that's so difficult for a lot of us. We can appreciate, like you said, we can love on everybody else, but when it comes to loving on us, appreciating us, it's like we don't know how to do it, you know. And well, you said nobody taught you how to love yourself. Nobody so taught me that. How did you learn how to love and appreciate yourself? So. With me being more of a spirit being, I meditate. I listen to the answers. I, I and when I when I get that download, that answer, like you said, that tree is not like that tree. That tree, that specific tree knows what it's supposed to do, and it has its own beauty. So I went, the reason that I went back to even a little girl, that's when your heart is happy. It's pure. It's not tainted yet with so much buffoonery yet. Mm. So it took time. And I had to test it out. Why don't I like going to sit down and eat by myself? I had to figure that out. Why why I was afraid of my own thoughts. Hmm. I had to figure all that out brand new. And see, growing up with grandma, they were still where when you're on your menstrual, you don't wash your hair, you don't get in the tub, and you, or you going to catch something and die. And I was like, what's going to happen? I'm going to have to test that theory because I'm not... <laughs> I can't. <laughs> I've never I'm heard not, of that one. That's the new one on me. My grandmother never used my to say goodness. you can't wash your hair, you can't get in the water. Or I think wow. I don't know if when they were younger, mm -hmm. they would catch some type of cold or may die or something. Mm. It must have been very big and scary because Wow. I'm like, uh uh, I'm not gonna test it. I'm thankful for my spirit. I, I promise I am so I hear you. I hear Thank you. you. I, I I am so grateful just very appreciative of who I was sent here to be mm. like my light had been stolen in that marriage it had been stolen it's back <laughs> that's good I like what you just said I'm appreciative of who I was sent here to be you know I think my story, as I told you at the beginning, feeling like I was an accident, you know, feeling like I interrupted my parents' lives. I had to come to a place where I was like, that's not the truth. That may have been the circumstance, right. but that's not the truth. The truth is I was sent here for a purpose. Right. And now is my job to figure out what that purpose is. Now, you know, Baba Fana, who I had on here last mm -hmm. show, he says, everybody has the same purpose to bring beauty, harmony, and communion. It's just how you do it. How do you do it? How do you bring beauty to the world? How do you bring harmony to the world? How do you bring communion or build community? You know, 
And so I was like, okay, I can accept that. I can accept that we all had that same purpose and I have to figure out my way of doing it. And then I started to look at what gifts do I have? What do I just do naturally that I don't have to work at? You know, I can craft it. I can make it better, but it just comes to me naturally. Right. You know, and then I began to write those things down. So if there's a person out there, you're having a problem loving yourself. You know, think about those things that you do naturally. Think about those things that just come naturally to you. Those are your gifts. Those are what you were put here to give to the world. That's what the world needs from you. And and think about all the times when you were helpful to other people, all the times when you sold into somebody's life and you changed their life. You know, so I would encourage you, if you're struggling with appreciating yourself, make a list of why you love yourself. Why and do I that, love me? And if that's hard to do, mm-hmm. you need to start some healing mm. from deep. That means you have pushed down some feelings and some stuff, and it's just in your root, and you got to go in there and get it and get it out. You have to. That kind of stuff will kill you early. Like, mm-hmm. that. that's another reason that you have to learn to love yourself. Your spirit has to be free. It lives longer when it's free. You don't stop. Throw chakras all stopped up. You, you just. You, live your truth. That's good. Live your truth. That's the. That's the best way to. Give the gift of lift. Lift people up, lift people up. So when they look at your, your shirt, they look at your mug, they get an inspiring message. They're lifted. (laughs) 